And as you can see um, from this eye to this eye, the difference that it makes. Hey guys, it's Angela and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my under eye dark circle routine. This is how I cover up my genetic dark circles in four easy steps. I really hope that you guys find it helpful. I did just graduate makeup school and I learned so many tips and tricks that I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, if you suffer from dark circles, I hope that this video helps you because I know that I have suffered from dark circles my entire life. I remember complaining to my mom about them even at the age of 9 and 10. So I love doing this to cover them up. Um, I don't do it on a daily basis, but when I do wear makeup, this is what I do. I love doing these four tricks because afterwards I just feel so fresh and awake. And I know it's crazy to say that makeup makes me feel awake. Um, it must be psychological, but I really do feel really awake and ready to go once I do my under eye. Um, dark circle routine. So I'm just going to share that with you guys right now. Um, obviously this is the after and I'm going to zoom you guys in and show you um, exactly how I do it. Once I zoom you guys in I, I will have absolutely no makeup on underneath um, this area and I'll show you step by step how I do it. But yeah without further ado I'm just going to jump into the tutorial. We're just going to get started with the first step, um, which is moisturizing. So just use whatever moisturizer that you typically use. Um, I'm going to be using the Rodan and Fields AM Cream. So I like to put this on just a little bit underneath my eyes um, first, or you can use an eye cream. I think it's really important to make sure that you're moisturized because um, underneath your eyes tends to be the driest spot. So just apply a little bit of that first. Okay, so now that we've moisturized, we're going to move on to the second step, which is correcting underneath the eyes. Um, so you guys can see that I do have pretty bad dark circles. This is something that I have had to deal with my whole life, and it is genetic. Um, but underneath my eyes, if you look closely, um, you'll see colors like blue and purple um, appearing. And the way that you cover up blue is with the color orange, and then the way that you cover up um, purple is with the color yellow so that's why a salmon color is actually the perfect color to go underneath your eyes um, it'll cover up those blue and purple hues that you have um, going on underneath your dark circles so that's what we're going to be using next and what I'll be using today is the Becca under eye brightening corrector in the color light to medium what I like about this corrector is that it actually is very brightening underneath the eyes. I found that a lot of under eye correctors can just look kind of dusty and dark and that's why I like this one. Um, as you can probably see, it's very brightening and it actually has some fine mist um, lightening particles in it to give it that brightening effect. So if you're looking for an under eye corrector, I would say this one would be great for you. Um, I also really like, once again, the salmon peach color that it, that it is. Yeah, some people complain that it's a little bit too tacky, but I really don't find it to be very tacky at all. So what you're going to do next for the second step is take your corrector and you're just going to take a little bit and only apply it in the dark spots because that's all we're doing. Um, we're just correcting the dark areas. You don't need to put this everywhere unless you are dark all over, but I tend to be more dark just over here in this corner. So I'm just going to do that now lightly with my finger. So just take a small amount on your ring finger and place it in the dark areas right here. And as you can see um, from this eye to this eye, the difference that it makes um, just by putting that brightening corrector right there. Um, I could even, if I really needed to and if I was in a rush, I could just leave it like that. Um, but I'm obviously going to continue on to what I do on a daily basis to cover up my genetic dark circles. But yeah, it's really cool um, seeing how much of a difference it makes just by putting that small amount of the corrector. And um, it's important to use a corrector underneath concealer because you have to fix the problem first. If you're just putting concealer, it's just covering up a really dark area without fixing the problem. Um, so if that makes sense to you all. 
But yeah, so I'm just gonna do the other eye and then we'll move on to the next step. Moving on to the third step, I'm just going to be concealing and I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light. And obviously people have been raving about this for um, quite some time now and yeah, I'm a very light shade because I am very fair. But I do really like this, but it is important that you moisturize because it is very drying. A lot of YouTubers, I feel, put too much product on. Um, it's more about placement as well. And also, um, it's not a good idea to put it in an upside down triangle shape. I used to do that, but um, after makeup school, um, you definitely don't want to put your concealer in an upside down triangle shape because it actually drags the eye downwards, which makes sense because when you conceal or highlight things, it brings it forward. So if you're doing an upside down triangle shape, you're actually bringing forward this part, which is bringing your eye down. So you just want to focus it here, and I'll show you another trick that um, a lot of people miss for concealing. So I'm just going to do that right now. Um, the big trick that most people miss is they forget to put concealer right in this corner here, which tends to run pretty dark on everyone actually. Um, as you can probably see on this side, see the purple and the blue hues going on right here? So yeah, you're going to want to put the concealer there. Just a small amount. Not, I'm not swiping the product on, just putting a little bit where I need it. And I also like putting it right in the corner here, it gets a little bit dark. And then I like bringing it upwards. I like bringing it upwards rather than downwards, because if you bring it upwards like this, it kind of gives the appearance of an eye lift or something once we blend this all out. So once again, the corner of darkness right here. Putting that there. And then getting this little corner right there that tends to be a little dark as well. Yeah. And then lifting this up. Next, I'm just taking a sponge. My beauty blenders are in the mail still, but um, yeah, I prefer using a sponge um, or a beauty blender. I just think it's the most flawless application. So you guys can use whatever you would like, but I would recommend, recommend using a sponge. So yeah, I'm just going to pat that all in. So now that we're done with concealing, make sure that you set this with a light amount of powder right afterwards. Um, if you're doing a client's makeup, just have them look up after you apply the concealer. Um, that way there won't be any creasing in the fine lines underneath here. Um, also make sure that you don't use a lot of powder. I know on YouTube um, a lot of girls um, bake underneath their eyes and I know baking's super popular on the internet. But baking actually um, is not good, in my opinion at least. Um, and from what I've learned in makeup school, you only need a tiny bit of powder to set the under eye area or anywhere. Um, in makeup school, we actually used a lot of powder to age people and age them for films. Um, let's say if it's someone that's like a 13 year old and we needed to age them to 40 or 50, you actually use a ton of powder to put that in people's fine lines to create the appearance that they're older. So that's why baking's actually not good. So just take a little bit of powder. I'm just taking a Bare Minerals powder on the same sponge. And if you need to, take the powder and dip it in the product. And if you need to, once you have the powder on um, your sponge, if it's not an even amount, just put it on your hand a little bit like that to get an even amount. And then you're just gonna place that underneath your under eyes to set the concealer. So that's literally all the powder that you need. I, I promise you, you don't need any more um, because if you do notice, if you put a lot of powder, it just gets cakey under there. As you can tell from bringing the concealer up like this, it kind of lifts the eye and looks like 
you got um, an eye lift and I think it looks very flattering like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup I'm just put, gonna put a little bit of mascara and a tiny tiny bit of eyeshadow on my lower lash line just to balance my eye out and I'll be right back I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you do try this, please message me or tag me on Instagram at AngelaStein3 so that I can see um, the final product after doing these four steps. I hope that it was helpful. Um, let me know what you also thought of it in the comments below. Be sure to share this video with your friends, like it if you did like it, and also subscribe to my channel for future videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.